What's up guys? So in this one we're doing the uni to uni knot. This is an awesome knot. It's for tying your main line braid to your leader fluorocarbon or mono directly so that you don't have to use a swivel in between your leader and your main line. Sometimes you'll find yourself in the situation where that's what you want to do. You won't you don't want to swivel, you want to be able to reel it through the guides and not have to worry about that swivel breaking a guide. So this is a great knot to do. Now I use this knot all the time. Constantly I'm using it. It's easy to tie, it's quick, it's fast, I can do it in the dark, I can do it on the boat. I use this knot all the time, but it is absolutely not my favorite. I wanna be clear on that. My favorite is the FG knot. I like the FG knot because it's a thinner profile. It goes through the guides much, much easier. It's also a stronger knot However, there's one downfall with the FG over the Unity Uni, and that is that it is a pain in the ass to tie. You guys can tell me in the comments that I'm wrong. It's a pain in the ass. If you're on a rocking boat or it is pitch black, it's a harder knot to tie. So I like the Unity Uni because I can tie it anywhere and basically with a blindfold on. So I find myself using the Unity Uni way more than I use the FG. However, if I've got the time and I know that I'm going for something like a pelagic species, I'll tie, I'll take that time and tie the FG knot. But in my daily fishing, 95% of the times, I'm using the Uni to Uni. It's a great knot. You gotta know it. So without further ado, let's show you. All right guys, so to tie the Uni to Uni knot, I've got my braid in this example is gonna be neon, and I've got my mono in this example is gonna be black. So to tie this knot, you're gonna lay one over the other and create an X. You're gonna pinch that X, and you're gonna take your mono and go under and then over and pinch the tag at that X, creating a loop with your braid running through it. You're then gonna take that tag and go through the loop four times. One, two, three, four times. Release the loop and pull from just the tag end. Cinch that up, but not too tight. I'd say 80% of the way there. Then that's your first uni. To create your second uni, grab the knot and now do the same exact thing. So you're gonna go under and over, creating a loop. And in this one, I'm gonna do double the amount of twists as I did on my mono for my braid, because your braid will be a thinner diameter, so it will create a smaller knot than your thicker diameter mono. So now I'm gonna do this eight times. All right, so now I've got this done eight times. Same exact thing. I'm gonna release the loop on this end, and now I'm just gonna pull the tag end. Cinches it down. Now, I'm gonna release both tags and just hold the main lines. I'm gonna pull both at the same time, and it's gonna cinch both knots onto itself. That's where you can really hammer these down, grab both tag ends, pull those after, really cinch everything down nice and tight. And that right there is a perfect uni to uni knot. Cut your two tags. You've got your uni to uni knot. Again, four knots on this side or on your, your thicker diameter. I usually tie four on my mono or my bra or uh, my fluorocarbon, and then I do double the amount of wraps on my braid side. But that's it, that is the uni to uni knot. 